Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eons of Battle, and today I'm going to show you how to create some grim dark bases. These bases would look great for some worshippers of corn or some evil fantasy models. Here are the paints I'll be using. The first thing I did was I found some cork to help make some raised edges on the bases. The cork I'm using is about a quarter inch tall and I'm using plenty of super glue to attach it to the base. Make sure when you're figuring out where the cork is that it has enough room for the model to be able to stand on it. Once the super glue was dry, I used some small tweezers to help pull off some cork to give it a bit more natural and broken apart look. Now that I'm done with the cork, I then prepared some skulls that are going to be sitting on the base. I'm using a mixture of Games Workshop skulls box and some resin skulls that I found online from Green Stuff World. And then I whipped myself up a batch of texture paste. To make this, I'm mixing together wall spackle, PVA glue, a little bit of black ink, and fine grain sand. Now I'm going to be priming this model black, but I'm adding some ink to this mixture so that if there are any chips or breakages, it'll appear black and not bright white. Once that was mixed up, I began applying it to the base, covering it completely, and then once I had it on the base, I then moved in with a wet brush and used that to help me sculpt it onto the base so that I had a little bit more finer control. Once I was happy with the texture paste, and while it was still wet, I began applying my skulls, pressing them into the paste so that they looked a bit half-submerged, like they'd been there a long time. Now when you're applying your skulls, it's important to apply them carefully so that the faces face out for maximum spookiness. Once I was happy with my placement of the skulls, I went back in with some texture paste. The texture paste should stick the skulls down nicely, but you probably want to apply a few drops of super glue to each one once it's dry, just to help keep them in place. Once I let that dry overnight, I then went in with my hobby knife and I cleaned up the edges of the base. Then I primed the models black. Once that was dry, I then used my airbrush to base coat the models with some Vallejo Chocolate Brown. I'm using an airbrush, but you could also do this with a few thin coats with a brush. Once that was dry, I gave the entire model a nice big dry brushing of some Vallejo Gory Red. Then I did a lighter dry brushing just on the skulls and the area surrounding the skulls with some Vallejo Earth. And then I moved on to an even more targeted dry brushing of some Vallejo Bone White on just the skulls. And then I did a final dry brushing on just the skulls with some white paint. Next I added some foliage to the bases by gluing on a little bit of dried moss. I'm using some super glue to stick it down, and now the moss comes in a few different sizes, but you want to find the smallest clumps to add to the base because those are going to work best in scale. Now you could consider the base is finished here, but if you want to add a little bit more spice, you can apply some Vallejo Pigment Brown Iron Oxide, and you want to splash this on with a dry brush just in some of the areas in between the skulls.
And then I painted the sides of the base black. And there's three finished grim dark bases. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions on videos you would like to see us do, please leave them in the comments below. If you followed along with this tutorial, please post your work to Instagram and tag Eons of Battle so that we can share it. Thanks for watching.